Welcome to the Drupal Eyes Me series on using Apache Solar to build super fast, super accurate, and super awesome search applications with Drupal 7. Solar is a Java-based application that provides an API for interacting with Apache Lucene via HTTP in order to facilitate the creation of applications for performing full-text searches of content, with a special focus on internet-based search applications. The quick pitch for why you should use Solar it's insanely fast, especially when compared with Drupal's default search module. It can be scaled to handle millions of search queries per second and huge piles of data. Twitter, for example, uses it to do just that. It's better at finding the best results because it's designed specifically to be a search application. And it works well with faceted searches. And best of all, it's open source, so it fits in well with the Drupal ecosphere and Drupal project space. In this series, we'll take a more in-depth look at the various capabilities of Solar and talk about how they can be best used in conjunction with data stored in a Drupal-based site. Because Solar is an application in and of itself, we're going to need to set up a Solar server with a single Solar core for storing our indexed data. For our production site, we're going to look at how you might host Solar on an Ubuntu-based server as part of a larger web infrastructure and walk through installing things like Java and Tomcat and Solar itself and generally talk about best practices for setting all of those things up. In a lot of cases, you might already be hosting with a provider that has Solar integrated into their network and you can simply connect your production site to their Solar service. No need to set everything up yourself. And that's a great way to get started with Solar. But you'll probably still want to be able to do some local development to test things out, see what happens when you change configuration, etc. And to do so in a safe and sandboxed area. Luckily, running a single instance of Solar for a development environment is super easy. Download a few files and run a couple commands in your terminal and bam, you've got a server. We'll go over that setup as well so that you're prepared to do development on your local host. Since Solar is a third-party application, we need a way to bridge the gap between Solar and Drupal. And really, there's two parts to this puzzle. Getting the data out of Drupal and into Solar so that it can be processed and indexed, and passing a search query from Drupal to Solar in order to retrieve and display search results. There's also two key parts to the solution, the Search API module and the Search API Solar module. The Search API module takes on the responsibility of understanding Drupal and the specifics of our site's content. What of all that data should be indexed for searching and any special considerations for handling different field types like big blobs of text versus integers versus dates. In this series, we'll look at configuring a new index for our site and walk through each of the various options that are available to us when doing so. We'll also talk about using boost values to influence the relevancy of search results based on the field in which the keywords are located and how to promote or sponsor results for specific keywords, some of which is done in the Search API module's configuration and some of which we'll do directly in the Solar server's configuration. The Search API module is awesome because it creates this generic index configuration that describes what to index and when but it doesn't actually do any of the indexing on its own. Instead, it exposes the ability for other modules to provide one or more service classes that can be used to translate between what Search API knows about your data and your Search app appliance of choice. The nice thing is, this means we're not necessarily tied to using Solar and could pretty easily switch to Elasticsearch or Zapien or one of the many other indexers available without having to change much configuration. We'll use the Search API Solar module to configure a connection between our Solar server and Drupal so that the Search API module can send content to Solar for indexing and retrieve search results from Solar when someone performs a query. Throughout this series, we're going to be using some sample data that I've assembled about fish. The hypothetical scenario is that you're working for the local DNR. You've got a Drupal site that contains a giant database of fish, and you've just been asked to improve the speed and relevancy of, of search results performed on the site. Your data also contains extensive information that can be used to filter search results, so you would also like to be able to provide faceted search capabilities and some other bonus features as well. By the end of this series, you should be able to install and configure Apache Solar to act as a search indexer for Drupal, use the Search API and Search API Solar module to connect Drupal to a Solar server, and create amazing search experiences all within Drupal.